Charges have been laid after a teenage girl was allegedly lured to a fake party and tortured over five hours by three other girls aged 12, 13 and 14 with horrific footage of the incident posted online and her family going into hiding. Going to give you a bit of a rough overview here. You can always read through the article if you prefer. But essentially, a 13-year-old girl was befriended a couple of weeks back by three girls and invited to a party. She went to the house which was in Tawang west of Noosa in the Sunshine's Coast North. This happened Saturday, March the 11th. The three girls kept the 13-year-old girl kidnapped, essentially, allegedly, tied up, burnt, stomped on. The 13-year-old girl had bottles broken over her face, had knives thrown at her, was poked with a knife. We see that on footage. This went on for five hours. Much of it was videoed. Part of that video has been released online today. I've seen a small section of it, which is on the Daily Mail article, heavily censored, but scary AF. These three girls, again, 12, 13, and 14, ganging up on the 13 year old girl one of them's got a large kitchen knife in her hand and is poking the 13 year old in it another girl punches the 13 year old twice right in the face tells her to stand face a certain way and then whack right in the face after the second punch that we see the girl runs for the door she tries to get out but the others slam the door shut keep her in there and then she gets poked with the knife again very very disturbing I'm going to say at this point, I'm going to go through further, but at this point, I'm going to say that there is a blessing that this didn't lead to a murder. If you if you watch the video, you can sense murderous intent, real evil taken over these girls, the 12, 13 and 14 year old. They've all been charged with a litany of different charges, assault occasioning bodily harm deprivation of liberty, entering a dwelling and committing indictable offences, armed robbery, a number of offences, a number of charges rather, for each of the three girls that attacked the innocent 13-year-old girl. Uh, The innocent 13-year-old girl was finally released after five hours. Um, She was forced to take a shower before she left. She was also forced to clean up her own blood. When she met up with her mother, she told her mother that the girls had saved her, that she got jumped on, you know, she was attacked by some men and the girls had saved her life you know and why did she say that to her mother because she was petrified she was told by the other three that if she said anything that the three would kill her and her family including her three-year-old brother if you watch the video or part of it that you'll again see on the daily mail uh, article you'll see what i'm talking about you'll see that this girl has every reason to be petrified she was tortured for five hours with a knife burnt stomped on bottles broken over her face punched multiple times proper punches not not little tappy tappy punches wax her mother said that her face was so swollen that she couldn't be recognized the mother thought her face was going to explode she got stabbed in the knee thankfully it missed a tendon marginally she's got a fractured wrist allegedly absolutely terrible the family is now in hiding believed to be in an airbnb trying to keep themselves safe and hopefully the 13 year old girl is going to get all of the support that she's going to need this is going to cause mental strain you know ptsd or whatever it happens to be it's very very troubling i have a lot of confidence that the 13 year old girl will be fine that she will get over this that she will get all of the help that she needs i would like to see a gofundme for these guys not that i'm in a position to contribute but hopefully these guys do get a little bit of financial assistance to help them through the situation that they're currently in i think a gofundme might be a little bit tricky seeing as they're trying to maintain anonymity at this point so full condolence to this young lady 13 years of age befriended by three girls 12 13 and 14 told to come to a party to have a nice time on a saturday afternoon and then subjected to five hours of torture not torture not fun and games torture no real torture with knives being burnt being stomped on bottles broken punched in the face multiple times scared for her life scared for the life of her family poor girl i wish her all the best